Hello, Mrs. R. Would you like a cup of coffee? Oh, no, thanks. Have you got anything sweet instead? Um. It's my last Mars bar. I can't believe how much chocolate you can fit inside that tiny tin. Well, it's a lot bigger on the inside. Um, I'll tell you what, let's play a game. Um, if you win, you get to have the Mars bar, and if I win, we share it. Okay, you're on. Okay. Okay, so the game involves looking at the numbers on this Mars bar wrapper. And we're going to look at each number and look at the leading digit. So what I mean by that is if we have, say, the number 52, the leading digit is the first digit, which is number 5. Or if it was 27, the leading digit would be... 2. Yes, or if it was uh, 0.3, the leading digit would be 3. Okay? okay. All right, so the, the way it works is we look at the numbers on the wrapper and... If they start with one, two, or three, I get a point. And if we find a number that's leading digit is four, five, six, seven, eight, or nine, you get a point. So I'm bound to win. Well, let's see. So what we'll do is a look at the nutritional information uh, per Mars bar size, all right? So let's look here. Okay, let's run down the list. Nine, two, eight, four, three, three, two, two. That's 5-3 to me! I win, we share. Wait a second. I think you knew what they were beforehand. I didn't. We need something else. Have you got anything else in your tin? Um, maybe. Oh, yeah. Oh. Some coconut milk. Some coconut cream. Right, there's some numbers on here. We'll use the energy uh, ratings on this. Nutritional information on this. Okay, same again. 5 one, 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 two, one, six, five. Ah. Uh, Five, three to me again. I win again. Now, the reason this works is something called Benford's Law. Who are you talking to? I'm just, I'm just making a video over there, talking to them. So, Benford's Law is all to do with naturally occurring numbers. So, by that I mean um, lengths of rivers, heights of buildings, populations of countries, rather than forced numbers like telephone numbers or registration plates. Anyhow, in Benford's Law, it states that the leading significant figure of a naturally occurring number is likely to be small. In fact, 30% of all naturally occurring numbers start with the number 1. Here's a graph, and who doesn't love a graph? And it shows you that the higher the leading number is, the less likely it is to occur. You can play this game yourself at home. Choose a random number and get your friend to choose a random number and multiply them together. It's more likely that the number will start with a 1, 2, or a 3 than it will a 4, a 5, a 6, a 7, an 8, or a 9. It's a game you're almost certainly going to win. You just nod and smile. Who are you talking to? I'm making my own video now. Oh, nice, really? It's called Living With My Test Subject. 